So last night, we got to see Baker Mayfield back in action in the Browns' first preseason game against the Redskins, starting on their own 11-yard line, Baker and the Browns. Started the game with a no-huddle offense and had Baker completing five straight passes. Finished with a 24-yard touchdown to Rashard Higgins to cap off the drive that lasted just over two minutes. So, Skip, mm. how impressed mm. were you by Baker? Mm-hmm. Oh, Baker. He's back. Oh, he, you're Oh, right. shake your face. Now they call him old shake your face. Yeah. You, you are jumping on <laughs> yeah. to this bandwagon. It's funny. You didn't love him last year. Oh, shake your face. Now he's he, all he in. He grew on me. You shredded him last year. He grew year. on me. Yeah, he was like it. bacteria. He grew on me, yeah. Jenny. <laughs> That's a like, horrible Somebody, <laughs> yeah, it is. That's about right, though. <laughs> Somebody finally saw the light across the table that I was trying to shine on Baker from the start. (laughs) So both of you know how much I love me some Baker Mayfield. Yep. I did not love the approach that the Cleveland Browns took out of the gate last night. Because to me, they broke an unwritten rule. (laughs) They... They broke what what is maybe a gentleman's agreement in the first of four preseason games. (laughs) They come flying out of the gate in the no huddle. It's like it's just not fair. All right. I hear that. And I I love them. But to me, Freddie, as much as I love listening to him, he's getting a little full of himself. Oh, Freddie K. He is. He is. He is. is. He's feeling himself. (laughs) Hey, let's just throw a little no huddle at him right out of the box. How about it, Bake? Yeah, let's go do it. (laughs) In this league, as you know better than anyone, that you always tell me what goes around can come back around and bite you right in the butt. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Karma can be that word that Draymond called KD Mm -hmm. and Draymond called LeBron. And you do sometimes reap some of what you sow. And I love that they're feeling their oats, speaking of sowing, but... Not not to this level. Like not the first this, game. Huh? Not the first game to where just back off and calm down because you're asking for trouble. You're, you're going to make people so mad at some point that they're going to come and get you. And they're going to come with a fury. And they're going to be coming. And, and when they sack you for an eight-yard loss on third and three, they're, they're going to be taking pictures yeah. of you. Mm-hmm. And I, I love Baker, and I love all that. That's who he is. Right. That's what he does, what he did at Oklahoma. Same thing, yeah. But you got to tone it down a little bit because you are daring the devil that can be this league. What you will do, you will, you definitely have people that want to put a blitz in to try to get to your quarterback and knock his block off. Okay. Uh, but, Skip, I, I think Freddie's looking at it like this. We're going to have to run the no huddle at some point in time in the preseason. And I know he's like, okay, Freddie, run it like everybody else when it's third down or when you're in the third preseason game. Yeah. Don't open up the game yeah. with it because really no one is really practicing for that because you – and I think maybe Freddie knew the well, coverage is going to be basic. You know, right. obviously, if it's a third preseason game and there's two minutes left in the first half with right. your starting quarterback, right. let's go two minutes. Right. Okay? I got that. Right. Nobody's going to have any quibble or quarrel with that. Right. But this – yeah, I, yeah I, I don't know if I can honestly say I know I've never been on a team that we opened up the game. Not the first preseason game. Now, the third preseason game, yes, we've opened up the game in a two-minute set. Okay. Yes, okay, but never the first the, uh, the first preseason game, Skip. But I just think it's Freddie's way of, you know, Freddie is feeling, starting to feel himself like, hey, <laughs> I can do what the hell I want. Because I, I know if, you, if, if the reporters had asked him about it, he's like, we're playing football. We're putting in our offense. We're going to run our offense. We, we ran plays that we practiced and practiced and giving the guys an opportunity. But I thought Baker threw the ball well, considering there was Great. no Jarvis, no Odell. Yeah. Um, Callaway, I, I really like Callaway. I've always he, liked He might have been a higher draft pick mm-hmm. had he not had his issues. I like Rashard Florida. Higgins. Yes. I yeah, do. All, all those guys. They, they, they got a good receiving course. They do. Um, Deep. I get your point, but I, I, didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. But just know. Like you said, karma. But the thing I love most about karma, you know, at the Karma Cafe, I have a Karma Cafe. Jimmy. Oh, you do? I'm You've so, got two. Yeah, I got I got old club Shay Shay and I got a Karma Cafe. Busy you know, guy. Mm. Yeah. Karma Cafe. You get served exactly what you deserve. And the thing that I love most about Karma, Karma patient. Mm. It'll always get you back right away. Oh. Karma, oh man, sometimes Karma wait a week. It'll make a wait a month. It'll wait years. It takes time. But old, old Karma, mm. It'll get you. It, it, and when it gets you, it gets you hard. <laughs> and then people are like, well, yeah. okay, why would you, why would someone call a blitz in the first qu- in the first mm-hmm. preseason game? Because they saw Freddie K running two minutes <laughs> mm-hmm. in the first preseason game. So I'm going to remind everyone, 
Freddie Kay has never been a head coach <laughs> because until mid-year last year, he'd never been a coordinator right. in the National Football right. League. And he's been around for a while. He spent a bunch of years in Arizona yeah. toiling in obscurity. Right. Never and all of a sudden, plays. Yeah. The only, the only thing he called was a fast food order. Uh. Yeah, Ooh, call that's that a in. Shot. Oh that's my man, no, let's get that. No shot. You know, I love Freddie K. Shot, yeah. But I'm just saying that I was love him too. I love to listen to him. But it. he but I mean, you know, and I think that's what, you know, Wiley, who was the offensive line coach, I think that's what he said. You talk about a guy, you had guys on the staff that had been head coaches, that had been coordinators, and Freddie K had not even had that opportunity, did, mm -hmm. you know, had never done anything like that. Mm -hmm. And he's the head coach and you bypass what Wiley, the offensive line coach, feel more qualified guys. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if Baker like him, that's exactly that's who it. will get the job. I think Baker loves him. Well, I think you. for the moment, Odell loves him. For the moment, Jarvis loves him. And we'll see how all of that plays. And they okay. traded Duke, so yeah. Duke loved him too because yeah. they got him he, up out of there. Got him out of Still there. in the honeymoon yeah. phase. Uh, Chubb really loves oh, yeah. him. Right? They're back yeah. in action against the Colts next Saturday. Okay. So we'll get to okay. see a bit yeah. more action. Come I'm liking fire. the confidence. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna come out of conventional set. <laughs> <laughs> really take everybody time. expecting two everybody expecting two <laughs> yeah. minute drill now. How about this, guys? Will Jason Kidd be able to help LeBron and the Lakers? Help How's he gonna help? We'll discuss help next. Yeah. Mm.